right, I'll talk to the bitch. Let's see if I can. I knew I gave the mission to the right Okay. I don't want to have to kill somebody again, you know. I'll just chill. We'll see what happens. Pretty sure Shadowmere and uh, Deborah can probably take care of these guys by my uh, by themselves. So. Yeah. You don't really look like you're in much of a position to be giving orders. Man, look at that. They just wiped out the camp by themselves. Alright, man. We're going to be taking this camp. And as you can probably tell, we're not really taking sides on this one. I mean, in a uh, creative and figurative sense. I mean, literally we are, because we are completing the, the mission for the Empire. But if, as you've probably noticed, the we're not really uh, restricted to killing either or, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, come on, bitch. You're not an enemy? Oh, shit, that's why. Hey, brah. Hey, brah. Can do shit, brah. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so I think we're good to go. Let's go take Windhelm in this final epic struggle. We've killed a dragon. We killed 50 Stormcloaks. 100,000 Imperials. And now we're going to take Windhelm. Okay, where the hell is General Tullius? Is he up there? Up front? Yep. Today is definitely the best episode. Definitely. By far. That dragon thing made it. How many arrows do I have? I had like 400 arrows. Holy shit. We almost wasted 100 arrows. Alright, man. General Tullius, give your speech. Holy. Oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot about this. Okay. No. <laughs> Fuck epic speeches, man. We don't need shit. Okay, Deborah, You're gonna be holding up the line for me. God give you strength. Okay, we gotta make a run for it. Because Imperials hate us. The Stormcloaks hate us. Deborah, I don't know how Deborah feels about this, but... Okay, Stormcloak. Uh, in war, there are no morals. All right, let's go. No more, I swear. Man, he used to bribe. Oh my god, these, these storm cloaks are on a different level. Okay, they survived. Well, let's hope Deborah survives all of this. If she's even in here, I don't know. Okay, shit. How the fuck can you survive? Fuck you. How can they survive? Did I like contract a disease? General Tolia, shut the fuck up, brah. Can't do shit, brah. Can't do shit. Okay, we're gonna run. We can't survive if we try to attack all these guys. Oh, shit. Shit, motherfucker. Okay, well. Oh my god. Fucking. Ugh. These guys have any health on them? Oh shit. Oh shit, motherfucker. Where the hell's Deborah, man? I need Deborah. I need Deborah to back me up. My guy's not a fucking tank. Oh shit. Run! Oh fuck! Ah! Break down the barricade! Oh. Okay. This is epic. This is epic by all, like, deviational standards that can be measured. Okay, dude. Even though we're enemies, we're, we're friends too, you know. An enemy and a vena. Oh, oh, oh shit! Oh man, you don't want to fuck with those battle axes. An enemy of an enemy is a friend. Especially if you can have. Oh shit! Oh my god! Okay, bitch! Quick save, motherfucker! Alright. Oh! Hurry! 
Okay. Okay, General Tolius, where the fuck are you, man? Okay, brah. Okay, so... We're about to kill Ulfric Stormcloak ourselves. You know? You know how we're gonna kill him? We're gonna turn into a werewolf, bitch! We need some aid on this one. Where the hell? We need him. We need... You know who I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about. That's who. Look, he's just chilling on his throne. He's like, yeah, bitch. I don't care. It's over. Wait a while I'm still being cold. Step aside, Dalmar. We're here to accept Ulfric's surrender. I'll never surrender Skyrim into the hands of a corrupt dying empire. Stop with the battle music. Skyrim doesn't belong to you. Fuck. But I belong to her. Murder in the air. You know, I actually sort of feel bad. Stand down and face public. Actually. All right, turn the music down. And face summary execution by my hands. It matters little to me. Either way, I'll be He's like, bitch, please. Back to Cyrodiil. Well, what are we waiting for? Get him, Lucien. Come on. Champion versus champion. Who's going to win? Me or this hairy fuck? Oh, man. Lucien can take him on. Oh! Oh! Man, Ulfric, I got some mad respect for you, bro. But you have to go. You have to fucking go. Well, I'll lead on, brother. Any last requests before I send you to to wherever you people go when you die? See you, bitch. Savingard, sir. Right. Well, let the Dragonborn be the one to do it. It'll make for a better song. Song or not, I just want it done. I, I will not lie to you. I sort of don't like General Tolius. Like, they're very stark contrast. I think I said this in a previous video. Like, Ulfric, he's all about honor. Maybe he's a megalomaniac, but who cares? He has better speeches. He's more charismatic. He's, he's a, sort of a likable personality. I don't know. I've never played at the Stormcloaks, but... General Tullius, he seems oblivious to everything. He knows nothing of honor. He's like, yeah, fuck your traditions. You know, I just want to kill you, bitch, so we can get rid of the menace. You know, it's understandable. He's a very logical person. I'll gladly kill him. Here. Use my sword to do it. I made sure to sharpen it for the occasion. All right. Let's do this. Ebony Sword of the Vampire. This ugly looking thing. Oh shit. Well, let's unequip our bow. Or blade. Okay, Ulfric. You are a worthy foe. I killed your storm cloaks in great number. I've killed the Emperor of Tam or Cyrodiil, and now I'm gonna kill you. <sighs> Sorry, brah. You. you were a worthy opponent, that that's for sure. Nothing. Just saying goodbye. All right. Oh, the men will be expecting some kind of speech, and we'll need to hand the city. And we're gonna have to kill all the fucking Imperials out there. <laughs> Runwolf, yes, I've sent men to protect him. Oh my God. Windhelm will need a government quick. What about you? What do you got? I'm gonna feed. I'm gonna feed off, off Ulfric. Staying here for quite some time. And his champion. I don't expect there to be any further violence. Oh, and so now, it's very and similar to their tradition. As a token of my appreciation. No problem, bro. To keep my sword. Thanks, bro. And now to deliver a speech. But of the past, you know, he believes eating the flesh of his opponents will grant him their power, their their wisdom, their knowledge. So the consumption of Ulfric Stormcloak's flesh was almost a given possibility. Uh, that was almost one of the sole reasons why he joined the 
with the Empire in the first place, because he understood the worth of Ulfric as a as a Nord, as a human. He knew that he was a great man, and to consume his flesh would be the greatest honor that he could bestow upon himself. Anyways, I'm pretty sure we're going to be fucking up Imperials out here, so let's save. Let's go. Attention. General Tullius has an announcement. Okay, they're the they're not exactly over. hostile. That's good. Ulfric Stormcloak is dead. <laughs> Yay! His head will be sent to Cyrodiil, where it will adorn a spike on the walls of the Imperial City. <laughs> oh my God! Let this day be a final warning to all who would still call themselves Stormcloaks. We are turning the city over to Brunwolf Freewinter, an honorable and faithful man. Many of you will be staying in Windhelm to aid the. You're looking at me, bro. I'm supposed to look at them. Stamping out any embers of rebellion that may still smolder <laughs> here. In appreciation for your exemplary service, I am doubling your pay and compensation to the widows of your fallen comrades. All right, good man. Good man. I am proud of all of you. All hail the Emperor. All hail his <laughs> legionnaires. Yeah! Yee! Where's Deborah? I hate giving speeches. It wasn't so bad. <laughs> I hope we haven't just created a martyr. There's yeah, probably. Resistance. There are many Stormcloak camps tucked away in the hills. They'll no doubt strike whenever and wherever they can. But without Ulfric to inflame their passions, they'll settle down and return to their homes eventually. You know, I, pray you're right, I sort of feel like that this is the probably the canon. Continue to root them out and put them like, the this sword. is probably what is going to be written history in the you. next Elder Scrolls game. The glories in your accomplishments. Come, Rika. There's still much I mean, the way that this sort of played out, I mean, it feels canon. Like, it doesn't feel like, you know, a side story. Like, I, 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 I don't know. I haven't played with the Stormcloak, so I don't know how it feels to play as them, but... Just based off what I've played so far of the Empire side, I'll probably say that this is probably what is going to be in the next Elder Scrolls game. Like, we're, there's going to be a book about this, and it's going to talk about the Dova King siding with the Empire. And who knows, we might even become the Emperor. I mean, we don't know. I mean, what, like, downloadable content might come out from Bethesda. Like, it'd be nice, you know, if you could turn into the Emperor of Cyrodiil. You know, you are a Dragonborn, after all. And also, I actually really like this quest line. I thought it was really fun. And I'm going to throw in a bonus episode where I purchase the Windhelm home because I've already done the Blood on the Ice quest. But I just sort of needed to pick a side. <laughs> yes, I d I'm not going to say that I did this quest line just for the house, but it was definitely in my mind when I wanted to complete it. So. If the house isn't glitched and I can attain it, then I will throw in a bonus episode where we buy the house and we put all of our shit in it. And I get to show you some of the stuff that my character's collected. And, yeah, we need to get the whole gang in here. I mean, this is like... This is epic. Alright, it's a nice and rainy day. We got Shadowmere insulting us as usual. And we got Deborah looking up at us as she first did when I told her to knee kneel or get on her knees. And my friends, this was an epic adventure. An adventure full of killing, full of mischief, full of charm, full of laughs, hopefully. And full of maybe a little bit of sadness near the end when I killed Ulfric. And it prouds me to say this, but until next time, my friends, this is Death Clock, Fern Earth, Shadowmere, and Deborah. Signing off. See you.